Hello everyone, this is Mehek from Crafty Mind. As a part of our art series, today we are going to make panda. So let's get started. Here you can see that I have already made one uh, sample piece of the panda. So we are going to work on the half face of panda and over here this one I have made on a plain paper and use watercolor for this one. And I have made one on mini canvas with red background. And I have used acrylic paints on this. I have also made one with yellow background, but over here the panda is on the side, not in the center. So as you can see, now we have a panda with different background. So green, red, yellow, you can do any paint or any color back there and you can use watercolor or you can use acrylic. So I have just made few samples just to show you the difference. I'm going to show you how to make, how to draw this first and then we're going to paint that. So for that, I'm going to use a plain sheet and I'm going to use Sharpie. So it's kind of easy, it will show up really good with Sharpie. But if you want, you can use pencil. You don't have to go with Sharpie. So let's start. I'm just gonna quibble it like this and mark it on the both side so that we know we have like equal space on the both side. And then, what we're going to do, we are going to make a curve like this, or you can say we are going to make a D, right? So how we make a D? We just going to make D like this, right? Super simple. And then we are going to make our ears on this. So for that, we are going to make planting line like this, like that other from here. And then we're going to make a curl and then join. So it's kind of a bit bigger. We're going to make a same over here, slanting line. On the other side, same. Little curve, straight and then curl, join it. Then we are going to make inside again two slanting lines. We'll go and then join. Same over here. Two slanting lines. Go, go straight. Go and join. Then we are going to make eyes in here. One, two. Okay. In here, we're gonna make like this. I think this one is a little bigger. Okay, so gonna make another little round in there and just fill it up. So this side, right? Then straight line. Little curve like this. It's kind of upside down triangle. But make sure the edges are not sharp. They are kind of curved. And then you can make a smile like this. Then we are just going to make a black patch on the eye. So for that, you need to make one curve like this. Go all the way up. And you can just stop. Make a curve. In a little bit going inward and out. Same over here. Go on this side, go all the way up. Little curve and in, out. Back. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to make a curve over here for our hands. And one on the other side, right? So this is how we are going to make our panda. And we are going to kind of call this really quick. Okay, 
cells. And now let's start painting. So for that, we are going to paint on canvas and you can see I have already drew on it. So we don't have to draw it again. So let's get started. What all things do we need to paint? So of course, we need a canvas and draw a pen on it. Then we need colors. Over here, I'm going to use acrylic paints. You can use any paints which are available at your place. Then we need the water. You can fill a jar or a cup with water. And I'm going to use a piece of cloth. You can use a piece of cloth if you think you don't want to use that. You can use paper napkin or tissue, whatever works best for you. And then I'm going to use paint fresh. So you can see I have three different sizes. One is little, big, small. So it's kind of like three different sizes for flat brush and I have one round brush and this is for outlining. So yeah, I think we can start now. So I'm going to start with my background and for this, I'm going to use uh, yellow paint for my background. So let's start and I'm going to make my strokes vertical Oh, not vertical, sorry, horizontal. So if you want to make vertical, you can go and make the vertical, but stay in the same direction. If you started with horizontal strokes, stay with that. So it's just fill it up all the sides. I'm just going to do that. So this. And you know, a panda or giant panda, they are like actually a bear. Yeah. And panda, they love to take nap. Yeah. So, they're really cute though. I have done a lot of art projects on panda with my art kids. So, I always love to draw pandas. So here, and also try when you are just covering up your background, try to do the sides too, like on the side of your canvas. So that you don't have to do it all the way in the end, so it's easy for you to just finish it like that. So see, I'm going to work on all the sides. Like that. So, and also we always start with lighter shades first. We're not going to start with the dark ones, so always prefer to start with light. So like the black is the darkest one in this project. So we are going to use that in the end. We're going to use yellow for the background, finish it up, and then we're going to use white and then black. Okay. So just try to finish this first. We just want to finish that. And you know, 99% uh, of pandas, their diet is bamboo. They just love eating bamboo. Yeah. And here we go. We are almost done with our background. So, and even see, you can see that I have for all my sides, I mean, three sides. Because this one is going to be black over here, here, and I'm just going to show you it. So 
this, but I'm going to see what I did. I just use yellow over here like this because this side is going to be white and thin over here and this side is going to be black because those are our hands. So we are done with the background. Just going to wash my brush. And then with the medium, I'm just going to take the medium brush now and use the white paint. We are going to use white around the ears outside, like not the inner one, but the outer layer you can see, you can see here. We are going to do white. And then we are going to do it on the other side too. We are going to do the white paint on this side. So here we go like this. Yeah, it's okay if it sometimes your paint goes out, that's fine because this is white, we can fix that really easily. So we are done with this. Now we're going to do our base. And also we are going to color all white. And there is one more fact about Canada. Do you know that how many fingers do Canada have? They have six fingers in like on their each paw, like five fingers and one thumb. So it's easy for them to uh, hold or grasp bamboo so while eating, it's kind of easy for them. So that's why I think they have like six fingers. We are going to cover all that. So always try, if you think your paint will go inside your eyes or outside, what you can do, you can just outline first so that you know that you have to stay inside, so inside that line, just like that. And try to make sure your strokes are same. So it's over here, if you, if you notice, I'm not using vertical strokes over, or I'm not using horizontal strokes over here. I'm using vertical strokes because see, or my brush is going according to the shape. So it's kind of a curve. So my brush is going according to the shape of that kind of face. So it's curved, it's going curved like that. See, and it's vertical over here. See like that, exactly over here. So make sure. I think we don't need any another layer. Even yellow looks good to me. Sometimes um, we do need like two layers to make it really good or to show off some colors like red. When I painted my mini canvas, so over there, I put two layers of red because just in one layer, it was not showing. So it was really light. So over here for you, I think it's kind of good. We don't need another way. But let it dry. And by the time we're gonna work on our base, our base will dry. So then we can see that do we need to put the color again or we are good. See now I'm doing this side over here. Okay. I think we're done with our uh, wipe right now. So just going to wipe my brush and I'm going to use the same brush, not the small one, just going to use the same one and use a black color. I'm going to start over here on air first and then we'll go on eyes. And remember, now this is the darker shape. 
So try your best not to go outside the lines. So, as I told you, it's easy to fix one thing. And it's sometimes really tricky and hard to fix the back ones. So here I'm gonna take part of this for that ear. Like that. Now, nice. So if you think this flat brush, it's kind of really hard for you to work on your eyes or on the smaller area. You can use round brush for that. It's going to be easy. So you can use a round brush for the small one too. That's why I do have the small one round, but that's pretty small. And that's for outline. And so and put in the other eye, so like that. And see that this is kind of straight and this is your top. So what you can do, you can just try to make it same. So this is just a black patch around the eye of this kind of. Yeah, like this, right? And do you know the lifespan of panda is 20 years in white? So this is like for 20 years. Yep, so you can see, you just make a little curve down here. Now we are going to do our hands. Also try to do it on the side. I'll show you when I'm done with my other hand and I'll show you the side how I just Put the paint over there, and you will have another brown. Here we go, see? Like this. And you can see there's a space left over here. So we're going to take some of the brush. Just use some yellow one here, coming around this side. Okay, that's it. So like that. Okay. So black black white. Okay. Now I'm going to take my paintbrush all the way. I'm going to take black. To do it here. We file it. There is one more thing. We are going to add little shade, like a gray, uh, gray color around the eyes. So I thought I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that. So see. That will kind of divide our eyes. And also try if you have extra paint on your canvas, just try to take it off. Um, so I have not washed my brushes. So let's do that. Gray paint. We're going to take make to take uh, white paint first. Put it on the side and just kind of bit of black. Mix in there. Make a light gray shade. And then this is the little dark. So just put it around the eye. So it's going to be around the eye like that. Can you see that? 
Okay. Oh, do light. Going to be a little bit of grayish touches there. And, uh, We like this. This one came up good. This one is very, very light. I'm just going to keep it a little dark and try to blend the color like that. Okay. Yeah, I think it's going to look good. And now we are going to do a nose. And it's all black. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my round brush, and this is outlining one. I'm going to use over here to make my mark. So let's use the pin bridge and there we go. And if you want to outline your panda, you can outline it like I did it over here. But if you think you don't need to outline, then that's fine. You can just leave it like this. This is like super simple. Super simple to draw and paint, right? So what I am thinking, I'm just going to leave my panda like this. I'm not going to outline that because this is how it's going to look if I outline it. So you have one option. Like you can see that this is with the outline and this one is without, without outline. So. You can choose what you want on it. So here we go. We are done with the panda project over here. Hope you enjoyed and find this panda art project interesting. If you like it, make sure to thumbs up and follow us on Facebook to get updates on our next art series. Thank you.